the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 190, Isaiah 46 to 50. Scholar's tongue. God was the God of power who saved not only the people of South Judah who were oppressed by surrounding nations, but also all the people in this world. First point. To the people of South Judah who worshipped idols, God asked whether there was another Savior for them other than God. God proclaimed through Isaiah that the idols of Babylon would be destroyed. Bel bows down. Nebo stoops low. Their idols are born by beasts of burden. The images that are carried about are burdensome, a burden for the weary. They stoop and bow down together, unable to rescue the burden. They themselves go off into captivity. This was the official statement from God that Babylon will fall in the hands of Persia. I will punish Baal in Babylon and make him spew out what he has swallowed. The nations will no longer stream to him, and the wall of Babylon will fall. Through this, God also added that he would look over those who remained in South Judah until the end. God continued to promise the restoration of South Judah. God first told them to repent for their sins in idol worship. God furthermore told the people to remember God's history and to repent. Moses had also emphasized to the people to remember what God did for them. Remember the days of old. Consider the generations long past. Ask your father and he will tell you, your elders, and they will explain to you. The reason why God emphasized for the people to repent was because he loved and wanted to forgive them. Second point. God first used Babylon as his tool, and then they became the subject of God's judgment. Although South Judah had not yet fallen in the hands of Babylon, God pre-told Isaiah that Babylon will fall to dust and ashes in the hands of Persia. Such a message could only be given through God. In the past, Job had expressed his pain as such. Therefore, I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes. Isaiah's prophecy came true in 539 BC, when Babylon fell in the hands of Persia. God told Isaiah that Babylon was to fall due to their arrogance. Babylon was brutal to its surrounding countries, and their arrogance grew. And thus, they could not escape God's judgment. Babylon's fall could not be helped by any of their idols. God moreover told Isaiah that not only would Babylon fall, but the countries that traded with Babylon would also fall. This included Egypt, Phoenicia, Arabia, and so on. Third point, God raised the South Judah after their rightful punishment for his glory. God rebuked the people of South Judah for having no righteousness or truth. Since the days of Exodus, many people were stiff-necked, and this continued all throughout. They really did not care to listen to God. Despite so, God still had hopes to re-establish a kingdom of priests with these people once they were done being punished. God proclaimed through Isaiah of the new vision he had. You have heard these things. Look at them all. Will you not admit them? From now on, I will tell you of new things, of hidden things unknown to you. This was God explaining that he was the one who governed the world. 
the people during Isaiah's time did not know how God protected their ancestors. They thought that their privileges were simply normal. They failed to be thankful for God, their Creator. Thus, God revealed Himself to them. Fourth point, Isaiah's song of the coming of the Messiah, as well as the Messiah's salvation. Now, Isaiah started to sing his second song out of his four songs. And now the Lord says, He who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him and gather Israel to himself. For I am honored in the eyes of the Lord, and my God has been my strength. He says, It is too small a thing for you to be my servant to restore the tribes of Jacob and bring back those of Israel I have kept. I will also make you a light for the Gentiles, that my salvation may reach it to the ends of the earth. This was a song for the Messiah and his salvation. Isaiah sang of the Messiah, whom God knew from the womb and after fast. He had a sharp tongue like an arrow and bow. He would bring glory to Israel and make them rise high. He would also shine God's light to the ends of the earth. The Messiah was Jesus Christ. She will give birth to a son, and you have to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. After Jesus said this, he looked toward the heaven and prayed, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, that your Son may glorify you. As long as it is day, we must do the works of him who sent me. Night is coming, when no one can walk. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Fifth point. Isaiah praised God who gave him the ability to speak and to help others. God told Isaiah that the people of South Judah would be taken to Babylon as captives, but that they would not admit their sins and rather begrudge God. Now Isaiah went on to the third song. The sovereign Lord has given me a well-instructed tongue to know the word that sustains the weary. He wakens me morning by morning, wakens my ear to listen like one being instructed. I opened my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who pulled out my beard. I did not hide my face from mocking and spitting. This song sings of the Messiah's suffering, restoration and victory. It also sings of the Messiah's teachings. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and sickness. God told them that He would restore them from their suffering. God pre-showed His love and compassion. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.